Hey Pisces, thanks for joining me. Let's get started on your June reading. We're going to start with love followed by a general. So let's take a look at your love energies. Let's see what's going on, Pisces. We have depth here, complexity, awareness, and importance. Okay, I cannot help but to notice it looks like somebody is dealing with a karmic partner. We have a runner, we have a chaser, chasing thrills, we have a spiritual connection. <laughs> I mean, it's all here. And it looks like, and it says here, past life, karmic lessons, yeah. So, hmm. It looks like you guys may be in separation. There, there's a karmic connection in separation. I don't know if somebody may be married. Maybe that's why the separation. Let's do some clarifying. So, yes, the, you, you are in separation and this person thinks about you all the time or you think about them and they just think that you're beautiful. Um, you know that feel, it, I got the card size. So this person thinks about you and just sighs. Ah, oh, Pisces, you know, that kind of thing. Or you do for them. Let's see vows. Oh, okay, so we have the soldier, which can be a playboy. So, yeah, this could be like a third-party type situation, somebody who is married. Um, yeah, okay. Euphoria, chasing thrills, joy, laughter. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we do have that with the home. So that's why it's... It's kind of a thrill. It's exciting because it's it's forbidden. This is somebody who is married, yes. I don't know if this is you or the other person. Hoping. Yeah. So somebody is hoping that that you contact them. They're waiting for you to contact them or you you're waiting for them to contact you. This is very tempting. You know, to reach out. Again, we have hope. So these are repeated patterns. Past life. Past life karmic connection. Spiritual connection. Deep love. Soulmates. This is a soulmate. You both feel this connection. Death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, but or this could be like a. Um, there could be an ending happening. A, a a relationship may be ending. Let's see despair, falling apart, sinking, hopeless. You may be getting a message that a relationship has ended or is ending. This person may be contacting you and telling you that their marriage is, is um, ending. Loss. And we have wife. Yeah, someone's getting divorced. Uh, 
running and we have prison this this has to do with shame and guilt so this person or somebody here was running from this situation because they felt that it was wrong um, they they were ashamed <clears throat> that they were involved in this third party situation so they were running away from it and then we have the chaser preparation relentless pursuit victory and we have wedding <laughs> This person wants a real relationship with you. If they're the ones that are that are married, that are getting out of the relationship, you were the one that was running, you didn't want anything to do with a third party, but they want this commitment to be with you. They may be getting ready to surprise you, come back into your life. Um, I feel like they have deeper feelings for you than you realize, or that this connection is deeper than, than you realize. Maybe, you know, the feelings were never really acknowledged um, and you felt very deeply, but you didn't really know how they felt. If they felt the same way, they do. They it, This is a, a very um, deep connection, a very strong connection. So yes, this person is coming back. They may be getting divorced or separated and they want to let you know. Um, they, they, they want you back. Okay. That is the energy I have around love for you, Pisces. So let's take a look at your general reading, which may or may not contain information with regards to this situation. Okay, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? What do they need to see for the month of June 2021? What is this? Five of Pentacles. Let me put the light on. That's better. Okay, Five of Pentacles in reverse. challenging you is the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so I feel as though um, Five of Pentacles uh, would be like if you are out, left out in the cold, you may be missing someone. If it's in the reverse, <clears throat> excuse me, to me it's like somebody is coming back. Um, and the challenge is the Ten of Cups. So this could be a family situation is what's standing in the way between you and another person. Let's take a look. The reason for everything. Five of Cups. You you are missing each other. Somebody is regretful <clears throat> over what happened between the two of you in the past. They want to come back into your life. Let's see in the past what happened. Pisces, what happened here in the past? Oh, two cards. Okay, we'll take it. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, so something <clears throat> negative happened here. <coughs> and the Hermit. This one kind of just flipped at the very last moment, but I took it. Could have been dealing with a Virgo. Um, or this could have been like something bad happened and, and somebody went into isolation, ghosted you, you stopped seeing someone, which kind of sounds like the spread that we just did so okay what is crowning you at the moment let me just move these over crowning you yes is the six of cups in reverse you're thinking about the past bringing someone back from your past going back to someone from your past yes okay so in the near future pisces eight of pentacles oh how you see yourself 
the Knight of Pentacles, the energy around you. We have two cards that came out, the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Page of Cups. So somebody has feelings for you, but they may not be taking action just yet. <clears throat> guidance, guidance and advice for Pisces. Whoa. Ace of Cups. Overall outcome. No, that was way too many. Overall outcome for Pisces. Temperance in reverse. the bottom of the deck we have the page of pentacles some sort of opportunity being extended to you okay let's see <clears throat> five of pentacles reverse king of swords libra gemini aquarius could be of significance to you Ooh, the lovers could be a gemini for sure let's see Or it could be a Libra. <laughs> um, we're, I'm seeing here somebody making a decision. So this is definitely about a decision. Uh, head over heart decision. Let's see. Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody finally makes a decision to come and reunite with you. This is about coming back into someone's life. But uh, for some reason, this is not easy. It's not an easy decision to make. Let's see the Ten of Cups. Why is this the challenge? Why is Ten of Cups the challenge? The Four of Cups. World. The Seven of Pentacles. So I feel that somebody um, is in a situation, a family situation, a relationship um, in which, you know, they have been thinking for a long time that they're not happy, but they've just been waiting and waiting, kind of dragging their feet on ending that situation. And so it, it's just a matter of time is what I'm hearing. It's just a matter of time reason for everything we have the page I'm sorry the page where did I get that from the five of cups queen of cups in reverse yeah somebody is really upset sad um, I'm seeing a lot of crying here Oof, the devil five of swords Wow. So this is like almost incapacitated by their emotions, not being able. So, okay, this might be this person here um, trying to decide. Uh, it may not even be about deciding per se to, to divorce or to get out of this relationship. It just may be just a very emotional situation in general, very uh, high emotional um you know, a lot of arguing, a lot of tears, blood, sweat, tears, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's a very toxic environment. And so somebody is just going through a lot, a lot. Um, and it, it takes time. Um, it's actually not healthy for one person to jump from one relationship straight into another. So it, it, it is like a transition period that this person is going through. Understandable. Okay, let's see in the past. Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Hermit. Yeah, there was a breakup in the past. Two of Cups. A separation between you and this person. 
Um, we just stop talking to each other. Knight of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. You felt as though, yeah, separation. You felt as though whatever they had to offer you, well, they really had nothing to offer you. That basically was it. Um, because they they were involved with someone else. So there, there was basically no offer on the table other than the feelings that you shared with each other, but there, there was no, nothing that they could actually do about it. So that's why the breakup. Now, Six of Cups in reverse is what is crowning you. Oof, the tower. Two of Pentacles, unexpected change. Um, that throws you off balance. <clears throat> Somebody coming back from the past. Yeah, okay, let's see. Let me do one more. The High Priestess, okay. So I feel as though you may be thinking about... There's things like you're, you're curious about this person. What are they doing? <clears throat> what are they up to? Because you haven't been talking. Um, and so you may have heard through the grapevine that, you know, shit hit the fan in their relationship and you kind of want to hear from them. You want to know all the secrets. Um, you, you know that something is going on. There's, there's changes and uh, you, you want to know all about it. But you haven't been talking to them, so that's kind of hard to just pick up the phone and say, Hey, I heard you got divorced. Or I heard you going through divorce. All right, let's see. Near future, we have the Eight of Pentacles. King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. Judgment. This is about putting effort. Where was that? Oh, here, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about putting effort into what you care about emotionally and making some sort of major declaration. Like, yes, I do care. I do care. I did miss you. That's what I'm seeing here. Someone is saying that. They're making the effort. Someone, okay, so if you're, you could be dealing, again, with a Gemini, letting you know that they did miss you. There's some kind of declaration, uh, uh, an effort being made in the near future. Okay. How you see yourself is the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Six of Wands, Reverse. Again, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I see you as, you know, you are on this road where you know exactly what you want. You want a commitment. You don't want, you're not fooling around. Okay, you're, you don't want to waste your time. It may take you, you want slow and steady, you wins the race. Um, you feel as though... In the past with this person, them being involved with somebody else, <clears throat> it was not going to get you to where you wanted to be. <clears throat> and so <clears throat> you're not willing to compromise is what I'm seeing. Like you're, you're willing to wait, take your time, but you want to find the right situation, the right person. You're not going to waste your time in situations that lead to failure. So that's how you see yourself. The energy around you, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups. The Emperor could be dealing with an Aries or somebody who is very much trying to remain controlled, remain in control. Two of rods before making a decision they don't want to they don't want to be impulsive or do things too quickly you know before it's time let's see the moon 
seven of wands. Okay, so they will, um, they are eventually going to come toward you. I feel like this is, we're still in Gemini season. I feel like this may happen in Cancer season. So once the sign, the sun changes sign, I feel like that's when that's going to happen. They're going to just stop resisting, uh, reaching out to you. Um, I think they will, they will uh, come forward then. Your advice is the Ace of Cups. Two of Swords. Six of Swords. Oh. Nine of Swords. Nine of Rods in Reverse. I don't feel like that Nine of Swords actually belonged there. It kind of just fell out. Let me do one more. The Magician Reverse. Okay. And the Queen of Swords. Right, let me see. I feel like what this is saying is that you don't need to do anything. There's nothing for you to do. Um, at the same time, I feel as though there's no need for you to be guarded. You can trust in your judgment. So just find peace in your own judgment and your own logic. There's no need for the guardedness. So just observe. Be observant. Um, be open to the possibility, the opportunity, but just observe the actions that are being that are taking place around you and give give it time. Don't there's nothing for you to do. It, it, it's just a matter of watching what is happening and letting it unfold with time. The, the, this is not about I feel like there should be no no rushing no all you have is time so there is no reason to rush there is no reason to to feel you know um, like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity no it's not if it's for you it's for you it's going to wait for you uh, it's going to prove to you so just let that happen Temperance in reverse as your overall outcome. Eight of Pentacles. The Hangman. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Three of Rods. And seven of cups yeah I just um I feel as though you know that's exactly what I what I see you doing I see you letting this person make the effort and giving it time ample ample amount of time like I don't see really like you're not taking them up on any kind of offers at all you're just giving it time and this person may become a little bit frustrated um, I think the key here is to communicate clearly just you know be honest and and say yeah let's just see where it takes us if that is what you want to do that's kind of what i'm seeing here you're just seeing where it takes you you're not saying yes you're not saying no you're just seeing where it takes you and and it will happen naturally but I, I'm, I'm seeing somebody being a little bit like you know they they maybe wanted to to label something prematurely or or they wanted an answer as to what you were going to be or you know something like that but I I don't think it's appropriate at this time it doesn't seem like it's inappropriate like it's appropriate I feel like the cards are saying give it time let someone prove it to you and plus I you know with everything that's going on like somebody's just leaving a previous situation so that in and of itself needs time so it kind of seems like a theme. Time is needed. 
let it happen, let it simmer, let it cook. It's not going anywhere if it's meant for you. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that reading. Uh, next month I will be doing the whole story reading, so definitely be on the lookout for that, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.